Mangroves are coastal trees that occur on both the coasts of Florida and throughout the Caribbean. They provide uh, incredibly valuable ecosystem services like filtering water and providing habitat for fish and other marine invertebrates. And they also act as a barrier to storm surges to the root structures. One of their modes of moving around is that they drop off a propagule from the parent tree and it can float in salt water for a really long time and then end up in a totally new location. We're very interested in uh, using things such as genetic tools to track where we've seen different uh, trees move in the past. What sort of journey did they take to arrive at this place uh, throughout history? In a very recent study, we were able to use thousands of loci and we found that Cape Canaveral actually looks to be more closely related to some other individuals from the Gulf Coast of Florida and not the Atlantic Coast. The locus uh, is just a um, position somewhere on the genome of any organism, plant, animal, human, anything. So we use these as kind of uh, forensic tools to figure out how they are related to one another. RADSEQ is just a way to get lots of genetic information from many different individuals within a species simultaneously. What we really started with was the largest unfiltered data set, so we had really no filtering on the low side. And so at this point in a RADSEQ study, uh, any researchers would need to filter it down in some way. Really the question is, are researchers just typically throwing out all this valuable data? What we found is that yes, uh, we we're throwing out way too much data unnecessarily. And some loci filtering is good, but the threshold uh, is way lower than uh, typically is set in most studies.